I know there was a reason I came here, but for the love of all that's holy, I can't remember what it is. It's like something was pulling me here, you know? Yes, I called you. I've seen your demon. You recognize my amulet? My power? Aye, not something I'm anxious to toy with, if I'm being honest. You fear it? You should fear it too. I don't think you understand what you're dealing with. The power taps into a darkness inside of us all. You can't ignore it. You can only hope to control it. So you do understand it. With you as my servant, I will be even more powerful. No, I... You don't have a choice. When do we start? Now, find me a soul. Together, we destroy her. Yes. That was impressive. How did you feel? Powerful. Ready to take on all of WWE. In time, controlling the dark side in a match like this is very different than trying to control it in front of a crowd facing another superstar. It feeds off that adrenaline. Good. I'm getting stronger. It's time. The fact that you can feel it is exactly why you need to be careful. After a few more matches... It is only those standing in my way who need to be careful. Understood. I'll set up a match and pray. Get ready to be spellbound by Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, 
I'm a believer that you do whatever it takes to win in WWE, but I don't know if it's worth your immortal soul. And that's what Cap has traded away for this infernal power she now possesses. The otherworldly presence of Cap has chilled the WWE Universe to the bone. Mrs. Wrestling has returned. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One half of the WWE's resident power couple. I'm not in the ring, Saxton. I went here tonight, we'll reestablish LeRae. Well, oh, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. Tonight, Candice LeRae is hoping the bright lights of Raw can limit Cap's darkness. That's going to be a tough challenge, especially considering Cap has Finn Balor in her corner. Not Tonight, Candice LeRae is hoping the bright lights of Raw can limit Cap's darkness. That's going to be a tough challenge, especially considering Cap has Finn Balor in her corner. I'm not sure what this alliance is all about, but considering Finn has some demons of his own, it can't be anything good. Planning on what to do next. Across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Getting set up for something in the corner. I don't know what they're looking for here. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Candace didn't look too comfortable there. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Has the leg trapped. Fisherman suplex. Joe! Stop! Candace now undertaking a barrage. Candace is getting the window shut at every opening. Kick to the body. Uh, double arm DDT. Oh, uh, springboard. Springboard sidekick on the mark. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. And back into the ring she goes. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. Caught in a bad position here. Down across the knee, that won't just separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. Oh, my gosh! She's getting back to her feet. But is there fight left? Oh, this could be something. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Larray's on her last breath. Two. Two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. Yeah. A look at defeat on the face of Candice Larray. How Candice handles things moving forward is going to make all the difference in the world. This loss could eat at her, or she could decide not to let it beat her.
that's what I was afraid of. Me becoming even more powerful? You going too far? I saw it in your eyes. It took control of you. You need to learn how to harness it, not let it harness you. I will not deny my power. I will not hold back. I know what can happen if you stop being able to control it. If you won't slow down and listen, I can't help you anymore. This was a mistake. Your mistake is saying no. You say I can't harness it. You underestimate me. I can harness it. I can harness you. What? No. Cap. We can talk about this. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. Priest embodies no mercy, no remorse. He's a sadistic individual. So you need tenacity just to survive the man. The punishment of the Judgment Day is here. Damian Priest, an intimidating figure who prides himself on being pure evil. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Senor Money in the Bank, Damian Priest. Priest has truly embraced his deepest, darkest side and I couldn't be happier. We've seen Priest and the rest of Judgment Day destroy families, put competitors in the hospital. What, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means. You're about to enter a battle against the Prince, Finn Balor. No turning back now. It's unclear what caused the issue between these two, but looking at Finn Balor's corner, it's easy to guess who. Finn was in Cap's corner for her last match. Maybe Cap's just returning the favor. I wouldn't describe his expression as one of gratitude, Saxton. Something nefarious is going on here. Oh, that'll clean your clock.
Left by the turnbuckles. He's returning fire. Caught with that sharp elbow. Time to see what you're made of. Oh, good check. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. Balor unrelenting on Priest, refusing to back down for even a moment. DDT! Wow, absolutely explosive offense from Balor there. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. And Priest might be in some pain following that attack. Even more precise offense from Finn there. Trapped in the corner, chops and punches in the corner. But it was being held back with each of those strikes. Fowler going for broke. 19 16. Will that stop, please? The cover. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I don't know what type of dark forces Damian Priest called on there, but it worked. Balor still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep focused now. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Close line! Off with their head. Finn turns it around. He's going for it all. Oh, look out. Fails to hit the bullseye. Well-placed kick. Sharp knee. Oh, what a knee. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Boom, kick to the face for your troubles. Sending them up. A thing of beauty. Down. Glam slam. Free fall. And another. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Not targeting the show. Escape and a takedown. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. Oh, there's a response against Finn. Oh, leg lariat. This could do it. The ref not even getting to one. What is it going to take to put him away? Basement drop kick finds the mark. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Trapped in the corner. Chops and punches in the corner. Up to the top rope now. Perched up top. Whoa, look out. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. And now gets tossed into the ring. Where's Finn going now? Finn Balor up top. Goes from Balor. Finn got all of it. Come on. Two. Finn Balor certainly seemed to hit another gear out there tonight. He looked like a man possessed. In more ways than one. Whoa, I'm not sure I like the look of this. What's happening? been replaced by his alter ego. We don't need a referee, we need an exorcist. And unfortunately, he's already taken out the only priest in the building. I did what you asked, what you compelled. Now please, leave me alone. Relax. You 
not free to go. Until I need you again. Then you answer to me. Understand? I don't. I do understand. Thank you. Exactly. How did you do that? Because this soul is mine. With your help, we, the darkness and I, have taken control. I have taken control. There is no we. Fine by me. You don't understand what you've done. I warned you what would happen. I warned you. I didn't take it as a warning. I took it as a promise. The locker room is talking. They're impressed. And they're scared. As they should be. As you should be. I've lived in that dark, remember? It burned all my fear away. Has it done the same for you? All I feel is hunger. Then what's happening with your former protege Psycho Sally won't matter to you. Have a good night. Wait. Tell me of Sally. She's entered the Queen's Crown Tournament on NXT. And nobody wants her in it. Because of you. I have nothing to do with the child. Everybody sees what you've become. They know you were her mentor. They're too afraid of you, but they can touch Sally and want to make an example of her. If their, if their intention, intention is to hurt me through Sally, they, they will find themselves on a fool's errand. Still, I shall watch her from afar, a guardian devil with my fingers on her strings. Huh. Perhaps the amulet has taken less of you than I imagined. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. The following contest is a Queen's Crown Tournament quarterfinals match. Making our way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. It's time to get Psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself Psycho, Sally had better find that edge or her opponent tonight is gonna send her right back to the asylum. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She's certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! You know, Zoe Stark just oozes with confidence. She knows exactly how good she is. And that's because Zoe refuses to conform to anybody else's ideas of what she is supposed to be. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. The Queen's Crown Tournament always promises a grand showcase for the skill, athleticism, and perseverance of these superstar entries. Absolutely, Michael. The intensity is palpable. And it's not just standard tournament pressure. There's something mysterious lurking here tonight, adding an extra layer of excitement to the mix. Mysterious? I don't know about that, Saxton. Let's from the top rope. Diving Meteora. <laughs> Step over. DDT. Off into the pin. And shoulders up before a count of one. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Ooh. <laughs> 
Going for the back slot. Oh my goodness, that was even worse. And she breaks free before a one count. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. Just driven into the mat. And that might have just detoured Zoe's typical focus. Yeah, that psycho Sally put her in-ring acumen to good use. Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Stark can't stop this string of offense. Yeah, now Stark's got to turn the momentum around. Unbelievable athleticism. Pump kick. She returns the favor there. Great quickness. Nice roll through into the pin. Great combination. A kick out before the referee can get to one. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Oh, look at head scissors. Boom. Head scissors DDT. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Two. To the sky. What? Coming down their opponent like a sack of bricks. Whoa. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Ooh, stump to the back and make it twice. Ouch. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. You can sense what her intentions are here. Starks in imminent danger. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. It's over all in a nice work. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. Zoe Stark tastes defeat. This has to be a difficult loss, but ultimately Zoe Stark was shut down. It's not something we expected to see, Corey, but Stark will leave here. Did you see that, Justine? I'm going to the semifinals. Yes, I did. Really beat the odds on that one, didn't you? Did I? Gosh, I, I guess so. That's so cool. Zoe was super tough. Yeah, Zoe was supposed to knock your freaking block off. I booked you against her for her to win. Oh? Oh. Oh! That's amazing, Justine! You're right! Always put me in there with people who make me raise my game! Sally, I don't want you in the tournament because the whole locker room is freaking out! Lights are flickering, there are ghosts in the mirrors, and all the food and catering spoiled! Um, uh, okay. What's that have to do with me? That's all super witchy stuff, Sally. The cap? You see what she's doing on Raw? Everyone knows you're her trainee. A, Cap had a lot of trainees at TBD. And B, I don't have anything to do with the weird stuff going on. Be that as it may, perception is reality and everyone thinks there's a hex all over you. I'm the psycho here, but that sounds pretty cray. Whatever. Byron Saxton just started calling matches in Ancient Sumerian. You need to call off Cap before this gets out of hand. Justine! Just do it, Sally! Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following is a Queen's Crown Tournament semi-final match. Making our way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally! Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for.
It's time to square up. Sonya Deville is all business, all attitude. And from Shaman, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Oh, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. Sonia is looking for a fight and is ready to go. DeVille, so well versed in submissions and ground and pound with her MMA background. And we are about to see it in action. The Queen's Crown Tournament continues, but with a dark cloud hanging over the whole thing. That's right, Michael. With everything going on these days, it feels like we're holding this tournament inside a haunted house. These two superstars need to put that out of their minds. They've got a job to do. Saxton. I can't help it, Corey. I'm spooked. Uh-oh. Dragon Sleeper. Uh -oh. It's in. It's in tight. It's in deep. The Dragon Sleeper. Rolls through, and she's free. Oh, no. What's this? It's Cap, apparently here to help out her old friend, Psycho Sally. <laughs> Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Nice takedown. Sonya Deville calling on the WWE Universe to fuel her. to the chest. Turns that back on Sonya. Oh, through. Oh, and for the victory. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Oh, the old taste of pain. Right to the back of the knee. The tried and true method to taking anyone down. From the top. Look out below. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Catches the kick. Knee right to the face. Sonya Deville trying to... Oof, she is not abused in the slightest. Pushes through after two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. There's a wheelbarrow into the DDT. Psycho Sally just taking a moment to soak it all in. Oh, look at head scissors. DDT! Incredible. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. DeVille needs to be resourceful in this situation. Uh-oh. Way too much. Oh! She just will not go away. Return fire from DeVille. She flips it back on her. into the mat. Sonya's lost any momentum here. She's got to reestablish herself back into the match now. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. What a head scissor takeover. She's in serious pain. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Nice hip toss takedown. 
Whoa! That was nice. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the close. Sonya leaves an opening. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. So we have our winner, though everyone in this arena knows it took a sneak attack to pull it off. A very frustrating way to lose a match after fighting your heart out. Well, some you are welcome. I don't recall thanking you. Sally, I have gifted you with my power. Which I never asked for, Cap. You refuse my help? You dare defy me? I do! I defy you! You may be wearing your big evil hat right now, but somewhere inside you is the Cap I know. And I think she's desperate to do one good thing because she's feeling freaking guilty about what she's becoming. I got you into the finals against Charlotte. Would you wear a crown? Would you be a queen? I... only... I wanted to... help. Help yourself. Until then, we got nothing to say to each other. That proved it! That proved Cap has been helping you from afar! You're right, Justine. The whole WWE Universe just saw her! I... Wait, what? You're right. She's been helping me through the tournament. But that's over now. Cap and I are done. I didn't expect you to just say it. Surprise! That's why I want you to set another match. So I can win my way into the finals fairly, on my own. A battle royal against everyone else who entered the tournament. Damn. I'm impressed. It's Psycho Sally, the maven of mayhem and madness. The following contest is a Queen's Crown Tournament semi-final match. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally! It's time to get Psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself Psycho, Sally had better find that edge, or her opponent tonight is going to send her right back to the asylum. Here comes Sonya Deville and her opponents. It's First, all about the power, Jersey, and Sonya knows how to get it. Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. Sonya Deville ready to assert some authority and dominance in the ring. She better get it done there because she can't abuse her powers backstage anymore. One of the hardest working competitors in all of NXT. And representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy you know, Ivy Nile is not the biggest woman around, but Nile has honed her body into a finely tuned weapon. Oh, no. Nile trains tirelessly in jujitsu, cardio, and powerlifting. 
Just look at Ivy Nile. She's been sculpted to be dominant in WWE. Not letting anyone stand in her way. An up and coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Pretty cool fact here. Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. Fallon Henley is ready to speak her mind and start some fights. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. You have to be careful around Fallon Henley. She'll knock your teeth out and keep him as a souvenir. You can feel Fallon's focus. She has an incredible intensity and is a one-woman ambush. I've had the pleasure of calling a lot of Fallon Henley's matches, and I can tell you, she's a straight-up problem for any opponent. She is the heavy hitter of the women's division. And she's definitely not here to make friends. She is here to make wins. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. This is really shaping up to be a tournament like no other with the semifinal match being decided by a battle royal. If you're going to replace a round of any tournament with a battle royal, it makes sense that it's the Queen's crown. After Cap's disruptions, it's probably the only fair way to do this, assuming she doesn't have anything planned for tonight. And now I'm freaked out again. Uh -oh. response from Sally. Turning the tables there. She will wisely return to the ring now. Oh, this could be the end here. Down their opponent. I kicked right on the side of the face. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And nice head scissors takedown. She's found an opening. Oh my goodness, what an impactful FTO. We got a little tandem offense in our future. I like this strategy. Find an ally, clean house together, and settle it between the two of you at the end. Oh, put the brakes on Nile. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Ooh, slam. With authority. That offense taking a toll on her. Alan Henley making an example of her opponent. Oh, 
Look out! Exploder suplex. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Placing them into the corner. A possible elimination in progress. Carry position across the shoulders. Nice rolling fireman's carry. Unbelievable athleticism. You've solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. I need to get a little Nice takedown. Looking for elimination here. Sally crafting an attack. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh, 
Psycho Sally gets the win. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. A big win and a big match. They are riding high on this win. This celebration might carry on the rest of the month. You did it. Even without your magic buddy pulling strings. I did, didn't I? If this whole experience has taught me one thing, it's not just that I can do this on my own. It's that I want to. Tell me that after you've been in there with Charlotte for five minutes. Girl can hit. Good. She better bring it. Cause I'm about ready to go psycho for that crown. You know what, kid? I think it might look good on you. Good luck out there. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following contests will determine the Queen's Crown Tournament winner, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally! Psycho Sally is really capturing the imagination of the WWE Universe, Corey. Kids love her. Kids love a lot of weird things. That's not exactly the barometer I go by. The Queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Well, I just checked the weather here, and the forecast calls for greatness. Charlotte Flair is one of the greatest female superstars of all time. In serious conversation, to be the GOAT. Yeah, look at all the record title reigns. Look at all the main events. Look at all the firsts. The history books were made for someone of Charlotte Flair's caliber. Greatness has a name, and it is Charlotte Flair. Lover or hater, she is truly the measuring stick of this division, standing head and shoulders above her peers. We are down to one final match to crown a true wrestling monarch, with everybody wondering just who will be crowned Queen of the Ring. And if the last match was any indication, Psycho Sally just might be doing this without Cap's help. I have to say, I'm impressed. And you're relieved. But make no mistake, Sally might be wishing she had some of Cap's help when the true queen, Charlotte Flair, is done with her. There's the Canadian Destroyer. Wow. And shoulders are down. Stops the ref count before two. I can't believe the ref didn't get two yet. Taken down by the neck. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. How's that for a counter? Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Running hurry, Carrada. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. A unique splash. Into the count. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. And now she's looking to go top rope. Oh, God. 
Charlotte Flair setting her sights and lining her. Take down, rolls through, shoulders down. Oh, this has got to be it. Able to stop the pin count here. Oh, and she got out of there. Heading up top. High risk. Here we go. The second time, standing moonsault. Into the pin attempt. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Plenty of hits coming her way now. The Queen landing an impressive attack, trying to dominate the opposition. Ball from the rope. Flair lining her up. Get the Queen's throne ready. What a response from Sally. And she turns it around. And Charlotte setting herself up top. Uh-oh. What are we gonna see here? Oh, corkscrew neck breaker! Takedown, skull first. Taking a moment to get pumped up. Psycho Sally crafting an attack. Standing Spanish Flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. Oh, she's still alive. Charlotte Flair proving why she's been the measuring stick in the women's division for so long. A lesser competitor would have stayed down for three. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end. Well, sending to the top rope, oh my goodness! Wow! Just a continuous rush on Charlotte here. The Queen's perseverance being tested here. Top rope, here we go! Uh-oh, way too... And what a maneuver we just saw there. They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Caught by Insiguri! And Sally is countered. Charlotte showing how much punishment she can withstand before dishing out some of her own. But Charlotte still has more to do to get this fully in her favor. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. There's a wheelbarrow into the DDT. Two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh, what a counter. Uh-oh, what a response from Sally. Oh, a running hurricane around. Psycho Sally sending a clear message here. Breaking the form all across the face. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. And Sally is countered. Sequence of reversals there. And Connor Rose, shoulders are down. She just won't stay down. Oh, and step up in Zagari. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. What a head scissor takeover. An elbow will break that up. Yeah, 
nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Followed by natural selection. Sally felt the full force of that one. Goes down. It's over. Charlotte with the victory. We are down to one final match to crown a true wrestling monarch with everybody wondering just who will be crowned Queen of the Ring. And if the last match was any indication, Psycho Sally just might be doing this without Cap's help. I have to say, I'm impressed. And you're relieved. But make no mistake, Sally might be wishing she had some of Cap's help when the true queen, Charlotte Flair, is done with her. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. She responds with a counter. Ouch! Counters! Haymaker after Haymaker. Oh. And Flair gets that turn back on her. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Charlotte turns it around. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Ooh. This combo is out of this world, Cole. The Lunar Combo! Oh, looking for a backslide. Oh, my! Into a driver! Shoulders down for the count. Way too early. Ooh, looking bad for her here. Yeah, Psycho Sally reminding her opponent she's not someone to take lightly. She adjusts it and reverses it. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Charlotte needs the... Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper. Last submission locked in, no Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Oh, look at head scissor. Oh, and a head scissor, Didi. Maybe not, maybe not. Kicks out at just one. She's still in this one. From behind. Back suplex. Trap now and just oh, a man. sharp elbow. Charlotte has flight in mind. She's calling for it. Up high. Oh, got caught. Taken down with a body slam. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Yeah, as the Queen no doubt wanted to put her in her place a little more emphatically that time. Oh, man. Face buster. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Oh! Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around, into the DDT. Very impressive array of strikes. It's a lunar one. Oh my God, what a kick. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Uh-oh. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Should have known better than to think the queen was going to bow out there. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? Got her where she wants her. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Psycho Sally sending a clear message here. Going up top. Uh-oh. Way too Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. 
Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Block the arm drag, rolls through, pin in combination. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. And Sally is countered. Charlotte might be waking up. Yeah, Charlotte able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Uh, check this out. What a DDT. Mm, good night. For the win. Two. No, she kicks out. Obviously still has some fight left. We all know what she's looking to do next. On the middle row. This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Put into the corner now. They lift right to the face. Flair is falling behind now. This is where Charlotte will be tested. Shin breaker. She was clearly waiting for that. Oh, the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Back with a jawbreaker. Able to sidestep it. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Sally is out of the way. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. What a risk. Are we about to see it again? Standing Spanish fall. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Psycho Sally has defeated the queen herself, Charlotte Flair, to win the Queen's Crown Tournament. Sally overcame so many obstacles to get to this point. From Indy Darling to WWE Queen, Psycho Sally has made her mark. Charlotte will be back here, that's for sure. But tonight, she has to hand it to Psycho Sally for this gutsy performance. God save the Psycho Queen.